This video completes a multi-part playlist describing Baofeng's UV32 and DM32 ham HTs. If you've watched the reviews and programming videos for these two radios, thank you. In this video, we'll put the radios side by side and talk about how they differ and how they are the same. The goal is for you to decide which radio is best for you. In fact, you might find you'll want them both. In any case, you'll be making an informed decision. Let's start with looking at the similarities. First, the obvious similarity is their looks. Both radios live in the same case with the same buttons and controls. This includes a ratcheted knob at the top of the radio for changing channels and moving through some menu choices. They also share the same USB-C chargeable battery and can use the same K1 style accessories like charging cables, speaker mics, and so forth. Operations-wise, they both can transmit on the 2 meter and 70 centimeter ham bands. They also share the same receive-only bands, including a wide selection of VHF and UHF bands, the FM broadcast band, the air band, and NOAA weather channels. Both radios are advertised as 10 watt radios. As shown in my tests, both radios transmit more than 5 watts, but a little less than 10. Last in terms of similarities, they both have GPS receivers, which can show you your position when you have that system turned on. There are also some GPS differences I'll mention later. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below the video and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel if you haven't already. Clicking the notification bell will ensure you don't miss any new videos. Also, there's a join and thanks button. And click the join to learn about becoming a channel member and the thanks button to make a one-time contribution to support what we do here. I'd like to thank all of you who've used affiliate links found in my video descriptions. That's what funded the radios in this series. Now, let's focus on the differences. The major difference between the UV32 and the DM32 is that the DM32 has the capability to use the DMR digital mode. That means that on the inside, the radio is completely different. I'll leave a link to my DMR programming video in the description and on the end card. One of the reasons why DMR radios have such a high channel capacity is that each talk group you program requires a channel for your hotspot and each different repeater you plan on accessing. The DM32 has 4,000 channels you can divide into 250 zones. The UV32 has 1,000 channel capacity with 10 zones representing channels 1 to 100, 101 to 200, and so forth. Since you don't have to identify every person or contact with a channel, the 1,000 channels in the UV32 are plenty. You can program the DM32 with either digital or analog FM channels, so it has the same capacity or more, depending on the number of digital channels you program. Zones in the DM32 work with analog channels too, so the DM32 can have both more and smaller capacity zones depending on your needs. The DM32 also has an SMS capability. You can share up to 128 character messages between radios using the same SMS system. This system is kind of new and I haven't played around with it much. My main question is how you'd identify yourself in your message. You know, TID Radio has a similar system in their latest H3 Plus firmware, so it's not a digital only capability. Earlier, I mentioned that the GPS systems in the two radios were different. In the UV32, the radio will display your position and use an ANI device code to transmit and request GPS position from others set to the same group and frequency. The DM32 also displays its GPS information, but 
uses digital APRS to beacon out its position via an APRS dedicated talk group that passes information on to websites such as APRS.fi. As far as I've been able to tell, sharing GPS data between members of a group as with the UV32 isn't possible. Leave a comment below if you figured that out. Simplex group? Private calls maybe? I just don't know. Another difference is signal purity. The UV32, like several budget class radios, has a pretty big spur in the 292 MHz area when transmitting on 2 meters. The DM32 doesn't. It's clean. There's something about the filtering in the DM32 that produces a clean signal. Having proven they can produce a clean radio in the 2 meter band, I really hope Baofeng applies that engineering to their other analog FM radios. The last big difference I'll call out is price. On Amazon, the UV32 can be had for about $37 as I'm recording this. The DM32 comes in at about $82 or about $45 more. On sites like AliExpress, the difference drops to about $20. Now, I just got tagged with a $25 tariff fee on a $60 radio from a Chinese source from the shipping company, so keep that in mind. Until the trade kerfuffle is over, Amazon might be a better choice, at least in terms of surprise charges. So, what's your best choice if you're trying to decide between the two? As with so many things, it's a matter of personal needs and preferences. If the extra cost is a deal breaker, the UV32 is the preferred option. If you don't want to deal with the extra complexity of the digital radio, even in terms of slightly more complex radio programming using the CPS for analog channels, the UV32 is still your best option. On the other hand, if you want a DMR radio now, or if you think you'd like to try DMR in the not too distant future, the DM32 is the way to go. In terms of basic analog FM radio features, the DM32 duplicates pretty much everything included on the UV32. The DM32's huge channel count provides more than enough channels to load your radio with lots of analog channels, including a bunch of receive-only channels for things like the Marine Band, GMRS, and some public service frequencies. You'll still have a bunch of channel capacity for DMR when you decide to dip your toes into that mode. The DM32's flexible zone channel management system makes channel management much easier also. Of course, the DMR functions are only available on the DM32. Related features like digital APRS are also only available on the DM32. If you're honest with yourself in terms of wants and needs, either radio can be a good choice. Join me over here for my DMR programming video and the 32 series playlist. As always, Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching 73.